begin tonight with the problem of nicotine use among Oklahoma's youth. It keeps going up. Truth Initiative reports 28% of Oklahoma high school students use e-cigarettes or vape products. Health advocates worry a bill passed by state senators tonight will make nicotine easier to access for teens. Two News Mason Morrow shows us their thoughts and why others are saying nicotine isn't the issue. This will create an avenue of access again for you, easy access. Corey Love is a specialist for the Tulsa Health Department's Healthy Living Program. His fight against tobacco use now an ongoing battle versus vaporized nicotine. It's still highly addictive. There, there's no plan to come off of them. There's no solution to say, hey, we want you to wing off of this. State senators passed Senate Bill 1078 on Tuesday night. The legislation redefines tobacco products under state taxation statute to exclude, quote, other kinds and forms of tobacco suitable for smoking. Things like flavored nicotine lozenges, um, nicotine pouches, I think even tobacco toothpicks are a new, fa new fad. Sarah Riven, State Director of Government Relations for the American Heart Association in Oklahoma, says these products, along with e-cigarettes and vape devices, would be exempt from state excise tax if this legislation passes. When those products, which are already pretty cheap, get um, even cheaper, they become even more attractive to new users. And of course, when we're talking about new users, we're talking about teens. Others I spoke with wonder why nicotine products that don't include tobacco would ever be considered tobacco products. Jennifer Burton, who owns Vape This here in Tulsa and Broken Arrow, tells me the two should not be lumped together. That doesn't make any sense because it's not, <laughs> it's not tobacco. Medical experts at St. Francis tell Two News vaping causes lung inflammation in rare instances. But Burton says the risk is an improvement over tobacco smoke. The burning and the combustion from cigarettes is where the health issues come into play. And she acknowledges nicotine's addictive properties, but points out other addictive chemicals like caffeine don't have an additional sales tax. It sends the wrong message to the user that you're placing a sin tax on somebody that's trying to use a product to keep them from smoking cigarettes. Mason Morrow, 2 News.